Okay, here we have our consumption function, which states that consumption equals autonomous consumption plus marginal pro propensity to consume disposable income. We are then given information that the marginal propensity to consume equals to 0 0.7. And then we have this increase in taxation of 10 million pounds. The question is, well, how will that impact on the consumption spending by households? Now, to do that is we say, okay, we know that the margin propensity is 0 0.7. That means uh, out of every in-rent change in income, there will be a 0 0.7 change in your consumption spending. So if we put in the 10 million here, then we can say that this change in consumption and that will be a decrease in consumption will be equal to 7 million. Now the important thing to notice here is that while income has declined, disposable income has declined with 10 million, households don't decrease their spending by 10 million, but by only 7 million. So the change is not one for one. And the question can also be asked, now where do they get this additional 3 million from to finance their expenditure? And that can be they can get that from uh, past savings. It's one way they can finance this additional spending here. Uh, or, or not decreasing it by 10 million, but only by 7. And then what you might have to notice and remember is that this one and that one is not the same. And this principle is going to play an important role when we deal with the balanced budget multiplier later in this particular model.